the respiratory system. Following organs are associated with the respiratory system. 1. Nose or nasal cavity. 2. Pharynx. 3. Larynx. 4. Trachea or windpipe. 5. Bronchi. 6. Lungs. Nose or nasal cavity. The air enters into the body through the nose. The openings of the nose are called nostrils. Nostrils open into the nasal cavity, which is separated from the mouth cavity by the palate. The hairs and the mucous membrane inside the nose helps in filtering the dust particles. The nose regulates the temperature of air according to the body temperature and also moistens it. The nasal cavity leads into the pharynx. Pharynx From the nasal cavity, air flows to the pharynx. It is a common passage of food and air. The opening of pharynx into the larynx is protected by epiglottis. The air from pharynx moves to the larynx. Larynx It is a rectangular box-like structure, also called voice box. It plays a role in producing sound. It also prevents the food and fluid from entering the air passage. It leads into a tube called trachea. Trachea or windpipe. The air from larynx passes into a tube-like structure called trachea. It is supported by a ring of cartilage. It is divided into two tubes at the base and forms the left and right bronchi. Bronchi. Bronchi are also made up of cartilaginous rings. Each bronchus leads into the lungs of its side. The bronchi are divided into a number of small tubes called bronchioles. Lungs Man has two lungs. Lungs are balloon-like elastic structures. The right lung has three lobes and the left has only two lobes. The lungs have many small air chambers called alveoli. Blood capillaries surround the alveoli. In the alveoli, oxygen is delivered to the circulatory system and carbon dioxide diffuses out of the blood into the lungs where it is exhaled. The path of air in human respiratory system is as air in nostrils, nasal passage, pharynx, larynx, trachea, alveoli of lungs, bronchioles, bronchi. There are about 300 million alveoli in each lung. On flattening, they may cover an area of 100 square meters. How do the lungs work? In humans, respiration is a continuous process. It occurs night and day. Breathing involves inhalation and exhalation. This is carried out by the contraction and relaxation of thoracic cavity with the help of ribs muscles and diaphragm. The diaphragm is a large, dome-shaped muscle that lies just under the lungs. Taking in of air rich in oxygen into the lungs is called inhalation or inspiration and giving out of air rich in carbon dioxide is called exhalation or expiration. Inhalation During inhalation, the ribs move upwards and downwards and the diaphragm moves downwards. This makes the thoracic cavity enlarge in size. The lungs being elastic also increase in size resulting in the decrease of air pressure. Thus, fresh air from the atmosphere rushes in through the nostrils and the air passages and fills up the lungs. Exhalation During exhalation, the ribs move downwards and inwards and the diaphragm also moves up to return to its normal dome-shaped position. Thus, the size of the thoracic cavity and the lungs decreases and the air pressure increases. Thus, the air from the lungs is pushed out. A normal adult human takes 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Newborns breathe at a faster rate, about 30 to 50 breaths per minute. In a single stroke, about 500 milliliter of air moves in or out of the lungs. Common Respiratory Diseases 
the lungs are the part of our respiratory system that expand and contract thousands of times each day to bring in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. Lung diseases can result in problems in any part of this system. Some common respiratory diseases are asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia and tuberculosis. Table 3.3 Respiratory Diseases Symptoms and Treatment Respiratory Disease Symptom Treatment Asthma The airways are persistently inflamed and may occasionally experience spasm causing wheezing and shortness of breath, coughing, wheezing and chest tightness. Asthma can be controlled with proper treatment. Bronchitis An infection of the airways usually by a virus difficulty in breathing and a hacking cough that produces phlegm. Bronchitis is treated with rest, plenty of fluids and avoiding smoking and fumes. Pneumonia An infection of the alveoli, usually by bacteria. Cough, mucus may be rusty or green, fever, fast breathing and feeling short of breath. Antibiotics are used to treat pneumonia. Tuberculosis a slowly progressive pneumonia caused by the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Coughing, trouble breathing, fatigue, fever and sweating. Tuberculosis can be treated by taking oral medicine.